Yeah, man, you got to set that back. Um, you're just basically bending over and picking weight up and not trying to squeeze at all. You're, you're relying on that belt too much is what it is. Anytime you use a belt, you got to pretend you're not wearing that belt. So you got to set your back, take that big breath, and then squeeze your abs as hard as you can. Um, but uh, whenever you get to heavier weight, man, this is going to start wearing on your back pretty hard. and Or, or you might not be able to budget off the floor because, uh, mm-hmm. because your back is, um, isn't set. So you got to start setting your back. Um, you can probably drop your hips a little bit. You're a real, real tall guy, so um, your hips are going to be pretty high during this lift. You can probably drop them just a little bit. And with your hips high, you push your belly down, squeeze your chest up, get your back in full extension, and hold that as you as you pull. This weight doesn't seem too challenging for you. If it was, you probably wouldn't be able to lift it with a back that looks like that. So um, I wouldn't deload too much, maybe a little bit, until you can figure out that back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I'm not sure you know how to set your back into extension, honestly. Yeah. Um, that may just be a binary off for you. Um, so figure that out before you know you start just trying to fool around with your deadlift. Um, so it's very possible even if it's the empty bar, you won't be able to you know push your back into the correct amount of extension. Um, you know, So what we're aiming for is to, to rotate your pelvis anteriorly, so to pull your lumbar muscles up, kind of pick your butt up, pick your chest up with it. Um, you know, uh, make sure you can do that. So do like some lying Superman drills or the arch body hold as known in the gymnastics world, pump through a bunch of those, figure out how to get a burn going in your lower back, and then see if you can replicate that sensation when you're standing up. Um, your goal for the deadlift is to try to make that happen. Um, if you feel like you can't make it happen on the floor and you aren't near a coach, make it happen on a rack pull and then work that way down. Yeah. 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 So if it's a if it's a temporary solution as a means to an end, you know, to figure out how to deadlift from the floor, it's totally fine. Um, but you know, uh, if you're not, if you don't have immediate access to coaching, I think that's something that I would definitely look into. Um, check if you can set your lower back into extension. Um, see if you can do it on the floor with any amount of weight. If you feel like you can't, you know, if you're sending in for verification on the Reddit, Facebook, starting strength of the forum itself here, um, and it's still not working move it up until you can and then move back down to the floor. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I, I do have, um, I do coach some kids and they tend to have a hard time figuring out how to set their low back and rack pulls are a, a godsend as far as doing that. Um, if you do have to go to the rack pull um, route, um, I don't want to get too deep into it, but set the uh, pins right below your knee and learn how to set your back and extension there. And then every workout, just move the pin down a little bit more. Um, just one pin at a time until you're you're getting close to the floor and then try to pull from there. But uh, like Alex said, your your goal is to pull from the floor. So try and get your back to set um, from the floor first before you decide to go to rack pulls. Yeah, be honest with yourself about it too, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's like if you yeah. think it's there, but you're like, yeah, you know, I don't know. I just don't want to have to set up rack pulls. Be honest with yourself about it. Um, cause the thing is, you know, training's a long game, you know, so you should be deadlifting 10, 20 years from now. Um, you know, mm-hmm. so, figure out how to do it once so you don't have to do it again later yeah yeah i mean take some time doing it take a it might take a few weeks but Mm -hmm. um it'll it'll the weight on the from the floor will go up a lot faster when you figure out how to do that absolutely yeah and that process really shouldn't take more than a few weeks like if you were already deadlifting let's say every other time now just rack pull every session come in an extra day and do it just get as much practice with it as you can you know it's not going to cost that much for you so definitely 